Hi, I'm Allie. Join me as I show you how to do these simple pearl drop earrings that you can really make with whatever you want. If you do need any materials, go ahead and look below the video and we'll do links there to the two, four, and six millimeter beads that I'm using. As always, grab your bead on it board, get your materials, and let's get started. All right, so to begin our pearl drop earrings here, we are using some six millimeter pearls, four millimeter pearls, and two millimeter bicones. The two millimeter bicones are really gonna give that color pop, so try them out with bright fuchsia twos or purple twos to make the pair yours. Also, if you switch out the gold to the silver, you can still maintain that white pearl classic look, but give it a little bit of funk. We also have some 15 O's and some 8 O's beads that we'll be using to help with that dropping of the pearls. I went ahead and put on, just so you didn't have to watch me do it, onto a size 10 needle, some size 8 dragon thread, and right about 3 feet will make both earrings. I have two wire guards for my earrings and two earrings. I went ahead and put on my thread and needle a 4 millimeter pearl followed by 15, 4 millimeter pearl, 15, 6, 8, 0, 6, 8, 0, 6, 15, 4, 15, 4. Now, that is going to be kind of my middle of my swing drop. We're going to add a 15 and then a 2 millimeter crystal and another 15, and we are going to tie this. So you'll notice I didn't have that stop bead. I was just kind of holding the end of my thread. If you would rather use a stop bead, you can do that. But since I have the white pearl here, it can conceal the white thread really easily. I'm going to bring this down here and just tie a double knot, pulling those two together. Once you have that double knot tied, we are going to go down into the project and create more of that swinging, dropping sensation. So I'm actually going to do this little bottom drop here, and then we'll come back up the middle, and then we'll scoop around as we kind of add the top here and do the bottom. So my thread and needle is coming out right after the knot there, and I'm gonna go into the pearl, 15, pearl, 15, pearl, eight. So we wanna come out right at the eight O seed bead here. Once you're out at the eight O seed bead, you can really kind of play around with what you want that drop to look like, but I'm going to do two of my 15s followed by one of my eights, followed by a 15 and a crystal. And then you're gonna repeat on the other side, 15, eight, two 15s. Skipping over the pearl at the bottom, we're gonna go into the eight OCB and then up the whole right side of the project. And that gets us our first little drop. What we're going to do now is bounce to the top here and add our um, top of our earring. So we're going to come out the 15 that sits right next to that two. Get a little closer for this guy. And I want you to add for your top one and two more 15s along with an eight, a four millimeter pearl. It can be a little tricky to find the hole a two millimeter bead, and then we're gonna grab our wire guard. When you grab your wire guard, they tend to have an opening or they sit stretched apart like that in the U channel. Some projects, I stretch that out even more. This one, we're gonna actually pinch that closed. We're going to go up through that U channel, down through the opposite side, and back through the four millimeter or the two millimeter bead rather, the pearl and our 80 seed bead. Pull that thread and needle, making sure that your thread sits in that wire guard and that you don't have a lot of extra thread showing. Here on this side now, we're going to add two more 15s and come down the opposite side, going down through the 15 that sits on the opposite side of that two millimeter green on the top. That gets us our top in place here. And now we're gonna be able to add more of that dropping motion to it. So our next thing that we're gonna do is add our secondary drop, which is gonna come out right after that four millimeter pearl here at the top. So take your needle and thread through that first four millimeter on the left-hand side here, or your right if you're right-handed, either way works. 
and we're going to create the central drop. That central drop here is going to be basically a repeat. So we are going to do two of our 15s, followed by one of our eights, followed by a 15 just to make it a little bit longer, and then one of our two millimeter crystals. 15, eight, two more 15s, and back into the pearl that sits across on the right hand side. This is our opportunity then to reinforce the top of our piece, going in through that 15 one more time, up through the clasp. I'm gonna wiggle our thread and needle through here, the whole way along the top here, and back down. Where I want you to come out after this is I want you to come out and just kind of do a little wiggle there if you need to. I want you to take your thread and needle up through, reinforce the loop in the clasp, and then you're gonna come back down the side here and we're gonna come out through this last six millimeter pearl on the left-hand side. So up and around we go and then down to come out through that six. Just to show the earring at this stage, if you don't like a super long drop, you can always stop here and tie off your thread ends and you don't need to continue to that longer drop kind of cascading form. You can also, if you want to, make that little drop a little bit longer or even add another drop in the interior. Lots of variations that can be done. Once you're coming out through the bottom of the six millimeter bead here, we're gonna do our final drop. And our final drop is going to consist of one, two, three, and four 15s. And then we're gonna increase in size to an 80, followed by a two millimeter bead, followed by a 15 pearl, when I say pearl, this one's the four millimeter. Then we do another 15, our six millimeter. You can put more color in this too if you want. Another 15, another four millimeter, a 15, our two millimeter, our eight OC bead for that anchor, and then one, two, three, and four more 15s. Once that's in there, and you're dropping that down, you're going to go right over to the opposite side to the six that sits on the opposite and go right into that one. We're then just going to sew up, get our thread ends right next to one another and simply tie off the thread ends right there and burn our thread down. So you're just going right up through this side here. And the nice thing is you end right next to that knot. These are so simple and so easy. Make sure that if you have any questions or have any ideas, go ahead and post those two in the comments. Love to read those and uh, get ideas of what you guys like. Sometimes these simple projects are the best. Over there, burn that off. And then whenever you get ready to add your ear wires, you always wanna make sure when you add your ear wires, you open it by pulling to the side, pop that ear wire on, close it up, and your beautiful drop pearl earrings are finished. They give a nice regal look without a lot of work. Thanks so much for joining me to create these pearl drop earrings. They really are quite elegant and fun. You could do them in all different beads, gemstones, bigger crystals, and really make lots and lots of pairs to switch out for your huggy earrings. Remember, if you need any supplies, go ahead and look below the video. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more inspirational designs. Thanks, guys.